promoting online classes, which is next. Um, if you sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, humans, if you sometimes hear in the background a car or whatever, we're still in the garage. Um, sometimes I'm at a cousin's studio, or sometimes I'm at another person's garage because I'm trying to show us how to build our own businesses. You know, we have to support where we're at, and then we go 
build up an empire together. Um, it's not always about renting out a studio at a fabulous place because we have to start thinking about things we own, not giving our money to things other people own that are using our culture that doesn't make any sense to everybody. So um, a lot of you are in designated poor areas. You'll get used to this terminology in the book. Um, designated poor areas, designated middle class areas, designated rich areas. Um, the one world system gives you guys a certain mentality um, in each area. Um, I was blessed enough to see it because I went to church in a designated poor area, but I grew up in a designated middle upper class area and went to school in a designated rich area from since here, since a baby. So I learned a lot that most people don't get to see. In each area, the one world system makes people chase something. Chasing something is what they call a spell, an illusion, because what you're chasing, you have no control over. The system can just take it from you and make you chase it. So in the designated poor areas, what you're chasing is money. You're chasing survival. You're chasing material. You're chasing everything that has to be given to you by someone else, by a system. So what I'm doing here is showing you how to make your own subsystem inside the system. So I'm in my garage. For those who come from projects, you could be in the park, or you could be at a friend's house, if you have friends that have houses in their garage. All you need to do is find a film student, or like Max Wu here in Georgia, who's filming this, who's training for private lessons with me. Um, or you can just find anyone who wants to film and have decent lighting. And as you guys see, this quality is better than the one from before. And that's how you start your business. And that's how you start your empire, slowly. One, two, three. Yeah? So here we go with music. Sing up. Sing back. Sing up. Sing up. Let's talk about transitions. Transitions in dance are important. That's extending your freestyle. It extends your vocabulary. So that's putting one step and another step together. Recoup it. They also recoup that back from you. So what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is if I'm a producer or record executive or whatever, uh, you guys have seen it. You can watch different shows on documentaries on TV. I say, here's $100,000. Now, if you're from a designated port, Area, you go crazy. I got hundred thousand dollars. I got hundred thousand dollars. You're running crazy, but you didn't realize that that's a loan. So now that loan, you have to pay back somehow. Now, if you're a singer, how you pay it back is through your shows or through the record sales or something like that. But then, say your record doesn't sell hundred thousand, you still gotta pay the rest of that back. So now, in dance, how that works is different. Dance, they have sponsors, power drinks and all that. They give up people, give people money to lower the standards in the dance. That takes money out of the culture now because if someone sees, I'm going to give you guys an example. There's a famous person saying this is popping, but we know this is really popping. The audience is going to see this. By the time they see this, they're not going to care. So that means the quality has gone down. That means now the coach is not seen. That's what most of these reality shows are doing to most of you. So realize that being in your garage, which is your habitat, your culture, we started in the street. No cardboard sometimes would be going now, then on cardboard. Now, because they took us to buildings, doesn't mean we have to follow them. That's the work they want us to do. So they pay us for that. But in our culture, we keep it communal between us. So clubs, Garages, streets, that's our thing. We can get the correct lighting, lighting and all that, but we keep it ghetto, because that's what we are. We love that. And so ghetto, you guys, in real English terms, means natural. Street, because the street is out there, means nature. It's not something derogatory like they try to teach you. Derogatory is the fact that you have to live your house, you have to live inside of a building, and you can't be out there in nature. That's derogatory. You guys understand what that means by the book later.
Next we have single time circle with the half time bounce. So the basic isolations and grooves that's going to go from basic to advanced, remember, it's called basic and advanced for y'all because y'all always complain that my classes are too hard. But I only teach basics. I haven't taught anything advanced. I only did one advanced class and people were so lost that I just stopped doing it. So it's very strange to me when y'all say y'all teach advanced classes. It's very strange and y'all can't do basics. And it's not my basics. It's the level that dancing originally was and should be because if y'all truly evolved it it should always be what the teacher taught y'all and y'all did something different with it but also can do what the teacher taught so there's dance styles that i teach that i learned from other people but i made sure i could do their advanced and even master and professional classes and then found things that they didn't even see in the dance style that's when you're supposed to teach Let's repeat that again a different way. You should not be teaching a dance style if the prominent people in that dance style, y'all cannot do their basic or beginner classes. It doesn't matter what teacher it is. If y'all can't do their basic or beginner classes, y'all should not be teaching that dance style. That's just basics, whether it's martial arts, whether it's form of sports, but whatever it is, school, right? Don't, don't break a chain of order that y'all vote for. And that you send your children to learn. You learn from kindergarten to college, right? So don't break that just because you're in the arts and the arts is more loose in the mentality because of the media. But it really isn't if you follow the culture. So basic isolations and grooves all the way up to advanced isolations and grooves focuses on the bounce and body movement at the same time. Body movement is isolations, the bounce is how you hit the music, the pulse and the music. Together, that makes a groove. Now, that is supposed to be, if we're talking about house dance, on top of the footwork. If we're talking about hip hop, it's supposed to be on top of the coordination and the footwork as well. Just giving the basics, because I'm, I'm really not into the media, probably trying to copy this and then on a reality, dance contest reality show, repeating more words if I was continue, but I'm not gonna continue. So that's all I'm doing. So. On the basic to advanced isolation and grooves, you'll hear me go from house music or hip hop music because I'm focusing on either one. We're back center. Advanced people, this should be an easy possibility as you should already be manipulating dance styles you know. Hey everyone, this is Brian Green. Welcome to the Beginners Whacking and Whacking Online class. To comprehend that spelling, H and then W A, I suggest that everyone, before you start this video, make sure you have seen the IG TV trailers that are also on the website. Now, the pose. What's important about the pose is that posing is a picture. Yeah, something that you can see and the photographer can take a picture at. Now, 
there's a different concept in whacking. Sometimes you want people to take the picture as you're there. Sometimes you want them to take it as you go. Yeah, so there's a difference between and you going, right? So we want to comprehend that concept. In this actual dance class for beginners, you are focusing on strong poses. One love, everybody. Um, in the Dance for these series, we're going to correct terminologies, uh, codification, names of steps, and different dance styles. Um, we have to do this in the street dance styles because that is the only dance styles that have not been codified yet and brought to academia. <clears throat> there has been sloppy versions on DVDs and VHS tapes and online tutorials and a lot of people who just won't admit that they jumped the gun and chased that money, fame, or attention. Um, the way you check that is you, a lot of you, if you look at online tutorials that people, especially house dance, they do stuff for free and everyone shares and loves. How come you never see the person that taught them right next to them on the online tutorial? Now, of course, now that I just gave an idea, they may do that idea, but <laughs> you guys will get it. So... The funny thing is, is that we have a, quite a few steps in house um, that were lied about. Now, of course, people may say, Brian, how do you dare take that authority? Go on Facebook and look up the exposure chats and you'll see why I take this authority. Um, as one person admitted, Brian, we took your idea and tried to continue it, but without me, which doesn't make sense, and without the knowledge of dance as a whole. So, as those people went forth with no full knowledge of dance, uh, a lot of people know my track record, and you can see my track record on YouTube that I have a very vast knowledge of dance. So, when I made the house dance codification sheets, it was with the knowledge of dance and not try to overlap names. So, in house dance, we're going to start this series off with the first name called the shuffle. Hi, everyone. So, today we're talking about shuffles. Uh, there are three basic techniques for executing a shuffle. Uh, before we explain those, we have to say that the shuffle is basically two brushes. One goes forward, the other one goes back. Uh, you can also think of them as one shuffle on the way down and out, and one shuffle on the way back and up. Uh, but there are three basic techniques. One originates from the hip, the motion. Uh, the other, the motion originates from the knee. And the third, uh, the motion originates from the hip, but you go out and kind of grab the shuffle. We're going to demonstrate all three.
a productive idea. So we have colonized land labeled Malaysia, which is known to be a poor country by colonization standards, who created it to be poor. Please let me comprehend why this woman has taken an idea I did that God gave me to make money for her, for myself, and benefit the students. So I put this out there because, you know, I'm not really tricked by a lot of y'all saying that I'm the legend, I'm the one, the OG, blah, 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 all that stuff. But then you're not really supporting productive ideas that work for yourself, for me, and for the students. Very few people think like that. So because most of us are still, you know, not traveling as much as we should or or can. Uh, myself, I prefer to stay home because I'm taking care of a disabled family member. But the teaching is still very easy to put online. They barely understand that little com. So the idea is you hold a two week, four week, or six week, or eight week intensive, intensive with your students focused on a dance style that I teach off the online dance classes. Then your price for that you keep and you put on top of that the price of my online dance class one online dance class so that would be $35 um, you keep five dollars of that and then I take the rest so you have your intensive workshop that you taught the teacher you keep all of that and then you keep five dollars of per head of what I'm making from that now mind you I'm still giving a royalty fee to the producers and the editors depending on which video I use and then I keep the rest which, which really isn't that much for me but I'm not really doing this for that purpose I'm doing this for another purpose and then we'll see how that works at the end of the day what God allows I'm a faith person so money for me to make money is very easy in this system to make money productively is more interesting to me that's not as easy but with all the productive I've done in life I would expect people to support productive ideas since they're used to not having productive ideas. So again, Malaysia already did this three times and we're on our fourth time of doing something different. So here it is again, all the dance studios that want me to come over to the colonized label countries that y'all live in and I can't do that because I prefer to take care of this disabled family member. And since everyone's online anyway, what you can do, you can hit me up. We'll talk about the intensive that you can do with your students, no matter how many students they are. And then what happens is after y'all do the intensive, I will give the final exam. The final exam is gonna be from an online dance class. And then they take it, send me back the challenge that's on the online dance class. And if they can do it, then they get the free, another free online dance class, or they get a mentorship monthly training for free, which is all great. Um, because there's those who are mentorees, they know it's great to have the one month membership, the mentorship. So, cause you grow very fast and you can ask me a lot of questions and I answer back in video or by written, it's up to you. So that is the idea. Let's go over it one more time. The idea is you make an intensive two week, four week, six week or eight week intensive. I'll put this here now. And then at the end, I give a final exam from one of my online dance classes that I'll send that is connected to what you taught in that intensive. But it's just a little bit of an upgrade. You keep $5 per student. I take the rest and pay my producers or editor. And then I keep the rest after that. The students get to grow. If they pass the challenge that's on the online dance class, then they get another free online dance class or they get a free monthly mentorship online so that's the productive idea we all win from that who do it pass it on love to you in dna